Hello YouTube community, my name is Christian and here we are again with another video about watches. In this case, another Japanese watch from the brand Citizen, especially from the series Crystal LC, Crystal Liquid Crystal. This watch has a quartz movement and it's from 1977, one of the uh, first digital watches of the history and especially with the brand Citizen. Uh, well, we're gonna take a look to the to the watch and then um, talk about the, the function it has. First of all, we have the stainless steel case. Uh, in this case, stainless steel bracelet, but in, this is not an original bracelet, but it fits very, very well with the model. Uh, we have a mineral glass and we have quite uh, a few information here. We have well, the hour with seconds and the day of the week. We have three buttons on the right and one button of the left of the case. Two buttons have uh, distinguished colors. I don't know if this is some kind of resin or plastic, seems like a little stone, but I don't know. It's very common uh, in the Christian series to have uh, colored buttons. In this case, we have uh, black and yellow. Maybe you have uh, black and white, yellow and white. Um, this in the face. You have the, the logo of the brand, Citizen, Citizen Quartz, and this little logo that represents the Citizen Quartz movement, CQ. The series Crystal LC, Liquid Crystal, as I said before. And here we have some kind of guide for the function for each button. This button, uh, right uh, up button, is the light, but in this case, for this watch, it doesn't work anymore. So we have in the right down button, the, this is the mode button to uh, scroll the functions. With one press, you can select the date and a month, yes, and the day of the week. In this case, it's Sunday. You press it one just one time and remains there. If you want to get back to the hour function, press again and that's it. Uh, this watch, it doesn't have 24 hours, so you have to select a AM or PM. And with this little button in the middle, I suggest you use some soft material like wood or maybe like like this uh, teeth brush, teeth spike, um, or maybe a pencil, you can select the functions. You, you, you're gonna need some uh, stick to use this button. You can use it just with your fingers or nails and you select the all the the hour and the date of the watch. And at the end of the, this scroll mode, you can find some strange little setup, setup with, you can select number from number zero to three, but I don't know what it means. So if you do know what it means, please leave me a comment or send me a message because I don't have the manual of this watch and I didn't notice any difference in the functions of the watch changing these numbers. So this remains mysterious for me. And we have this another, another little button on the left. I'm gonna stop this. So, okay, here we are again. And this little button, I don't know, I still don't know what it, it, it does. The only function I discovered from it is to 
um, zero set the seconds in the time uh, function. Maybe it's some kind of uh, way to make chron chronometry something. Uh, so with this little button, you can access this function with your fingernails because we have some little space here. So it does, it only set the seconds to zero. In the, in the back, you have a screw back with the, all the indications. Stainless steel, in Japan, water resistant. I do not recommend to um, use this watch in water. Um, all the serial um, and the, um, the production numbers. And here we have the date of production. December 1977 and this this is the serial number of this watch quite low 4000 so this is very old in good shape a few scratches in the uh, mineral crystal but it's okay very old the the bracelet is not original as I said it doesn't have the uh, citizen logo on it and any other mark, but is um, folded stainless steel, but it fits very well in the in the case of the watch. Well, people, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. See you.